Hey Rangers, welcome with the Super Unimportant Reviews. I am your primary host, Shin Godzilla. And I guess that'd make me secondary host, Red. And today we'll be going over the SH Figure Arts Darling in the Fronx Zero Two. So sorry we couldn't be a part of the video last week. Steve, oh wait a sec, I mean me, came down with a cold so we couldn't really uh, keep up this beautiful voice for all the too long. But what about me? I'm, it's not like my voice is really all that difficult. It's cause you're new and nobody likes you. You're not supposed to say that to my face. And moving on to the packaging. You get a gorgeous shot of Zero Two on the front with Strelitzia right behind her, some glowy stickers. Side of the package, weird go-to. I don't, sure, that's fine. Back of the package is where you would actually be able to see her if she was still in the package. With all her stuff, some Eagle Mumbo Jumbo, and another nice profile shot of her on the side. So for Zero Two, I guess we'll start with the obvious that since she's an Ashley's figure art, she has a wide range of articulation. With very poseable legs, nice joints on her upper chest and arms. Problem is, because of the way the head's designed though, her neck isn't quite very articulated. With the use of Steve, it can only really go side to side and a little bit of wiggle. And this is mainly because when you put her in all fours, her face actually goes into this compartment here. But real quick for her accessories. Face plates, she comes with stern expression. Looking to the right, smirky expression. Looking to the left, more happy expression. And screaming at the world expression. Which is also currently my favorite expression. It's also the one I get when girls see how long my tail is. Hands wise, she comes with slightly open hand, full open smacky hands, a pair of gripping hands, and a pair of clenched fists. Which none of them matter because you'll probably never see them anyways. I was just about to go over that. Also wanted to mention because of the way her feet are designed with the high heels. She pretty much can't stand by herself without some kind of support. So make sure to invest in one of these uh, Tamashiac stands if you want to have her posing without the base. That's fine. She was pretty much meant to be on all fours anyways. Which speaking of, she comes with this really mediocre cockpit thing. But first and foremost, you have to take off her head. Which with Steve assisting, all you do is you pull the head off. Yeah, pop off these little plates back here. Using something like the plates, you have to pop off the little back piece there. You take whichever face plate. Uh, we're gonna go with stern expression. Insert it into the spot. Also, you gotta make sure to put the neck back. Very important for realism. And then you just apply the hairpiece and bam, her face is retracted. And then you take the larger back pieces for the heads up display. Put it over top of her head, good to go. Also has the computer on the back, which looks fancy as crap. Then when inserting her into the stand, you just pretty much do what you need to do. <laughs> Bend her over and stick her arms in the little hole sockets on the front. You also can shift the legs down to get her to arc her tush up more. I was like, I make sure the things go into the spots. But for the most part, she sits in there pretty nicely. And then you can articulate the handles upwards. Though there isn't really much of a reason to since there's nobody really to grab onto them anyways. But look, I could grab onto it perfectly fine. This also feels wrong. Stop hogging her, darn it. Curse me and my tiny arms. Come on, I know you could get your butt up higher. Though of all seriousness, she does make a really nice stand if you have the Sterletzia. And I gotta say, unless you have the Sterletzia, She's probably not worth getting. Yeah, to me, she's more like a glorified accessory step for the mech. That, or you have to be madly in love with this character. Oh, I'm madly in love. Who doesn't want a mech with boobies? Um, Stiletia's getting a long review. Hey, do you want to see how long my tail is? God, give it a rest, dude. Now that's a wrap for this video. Make sure to go check out our Patreon where this video would have been out a day in advance. So if you'd like to see this before everybody else, make sure to go donate. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.